Hey, it's me Nasmus and welcome to this video where I talk about Ubuntu running on top of Windows. What the heck is that? Uh, basically, Microsoft with the Windows 10 anniversary update has enabled you to run Bash command line, the Bash command line right on top of Windows without virtualization. They haven't ported Bash to Windows like some third party has, like with the Sigwin. Sigwin developers ported the actual Linux Bash as a native Windows application. In Windows 10 anniversary update, Microsoft has worked with Canonical to bring Ubuntu to run right on top of Windows and then run the bash that the bash program that runs on Ubuntu to run on top of Ubuntu that's running on Windows. I know it's weird. Let me let me make this very clear so it's not that confusing. Ubuntu is what what you call it's it's, it's a combination of what you call the Linux kernel and the GNU software. Uh, it, the kernel is the only thing that's actually Linux. It's the main brain of the operating system. It's the one that works their drivers, glues the hardware to the software, and the GNU part are software that runs on top of the Linux kernel. GNU is a license term that's uh, it's, a, it's part of the Free Software Foundation that makes that allows anyone to distribute freely distribute, modify, change, or use the software any way they please. Most uh, Linux distribution runs on top of the Linux kernel, uh, on top of the Linux kernel uh, sits all the programs that are most of them are licensed under GNU um, and those programs make the entire operating system work the way you expect. So for example the Unity desktop or the GNOME desktop environment, the X window system, these are software that runs on top of the Linux kernel. Those software are not Linux. So when you run Ubuntu or when you run Linux Mint or Arch Linux, all the top end stuff you interact with, that itself is not Linux. Those are software running on top of the Linux kernel and most of them licensed under the GNU license agreement. So what is Microsoft doing is not bringing the Linux kernel in top of Windows. It's only bringing the GNU software that runs on top of Linux to Windows. So what what, what does that mean? So basically, when Ubuntu or any other distribution uh, is uh, runs, uh, those software that runs on top of the Linux kernel has to communicate with the Linux kernel so it could get the things done. For example, if you, let's do a simple example. If you want to calculate two plus two. Now, the software, the calculator software, will take the user input and it's going to communicate with the Linux kernel, to, which will communicate with the hardware to calculate the values and also display the res result uh, uh, on your screen, right? So, this calculating s calculator software is w communicating with the Linux kernel and getting the results back, and the software itself is working with showing the results to the user. So, how does that work? So in Windows then. So what Microsoft, the engineers at Microsoft and Canonical, what they did, they replaced all the Linux kernel APIs or the calls to the Linux kernel to the corresponding function in the Windows kernel. So what happens in when, when a Linux software is running on top of Ubuntu in Windows, the software thinks it's communicating with the Linux kernel and my Windows is acting as a, the Windows subsystem of Lint for Linux is acting as the middleman is taking the command from the Linux software and it's translating it or actually forwarding that command to the corresponding Windows kernel API so this means like when a Linux a Linux program wants to talk with the sound device and it's it's calling for the kernel to Linux kernel to work with the sound device. The Windows subsystem for Linux is going to forward that to the Windows kernel uh, so that that sound device would work. Uh, th th that's exactly what it's doing. I mean, it, I mean, it's very simplified. It's more complicated than that. But basically, the Linux kernel has been replaced with the Windows kernel, and the GNU stuff, instead of residing on top of Linux, it's now residing on top of Windows. So when you're running Ubuntu normally, you're running Ubuntu on Linux, uh, GNU plus Linux. But when you're running Bash on Windows and when you're running Ubuntu on Windows, it's literally called Ubuntu on Windows because it is. 
when you're running bash on Ubuntu on Windows, it's called bash on Ubuntu on Windows. You're really literally taking the part of Linux, Ubuntu Linux, that makes it Ubuntu, the software, and you're running it on top of the Windows kernel instead of the Linux kernel. So in conclusion, it's great step forward for Microsoft for the open source community. Um, it's awesome. Ubuntu runs on Windows. You could do all that. Um, you could run all your Linux programs like Emacs. Even you could. Some people have gone Xorg to run, allowing you to run some windowed Linux applications like Linux version of Firefox and the Go or the Google EIs widget. But all of them are running on top of Windows kernel rather than Linux kernel. So in all in all. It's Ubuntu on Windows, but not Linux on Windows. So I hope that clears it up. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I would love to answer it. And uh, thank you for watching, and have a great one.